Hello, my name is Kate Jenkins and I'm the Commissioner at the Victorian Equal Opportunity and Human Rights Commission. My job is to make sure people understand and respect human rights and equal opportunity. This video is called Rights Camera Action and it's a film about your rights under the Equal Opportunity Act. The people in this video are from Dream Theatre. They will explain to you what the Equal Opportunity Act means and how it can help you. So get ready. Rights. Camera. Action. This video is about a law in Victoria called the Equal Opportunity Act. This is a law that looks after people, protecting people from discrimination, sexual harassment and victimisation. These are hard words. We will explain what they mean and explain how this law can help you. This is an important law, so listen up because it protects you. In this video, we will meet Ben. Ben lives in a share house. Ben enjoys eating fine food, watching action movies and walking his dog, Toby. Today Ben is going for a job at the local restaurant Ulala. Hi, I'm Ben. Are you the boss? I am the boss, Ben, and my name is John. Are you here to apply for the part-time job? Yep. Take a seat. You'll have to read this before you start. It's a safety rules book. Is there a problem? Uh, I'm not a very good reader, but I'm good at... Well, if you, uh, if you can't read, then I guess you can always do the dishes. And it's less paid. But I can also... Look, Ben, I'm looking for someone who can do five hours going on Monday to Friday. Waiting on tables takes skill and care. And, and, and I need someone to look, oh, well, smart. I've had experience at a cafe and functions. And I can make a mean cappuccino. I can work five hours a day. Actually, I was going to ask if I could start early in the morning because of my disability. It's better to work in the morning, take one or two short breaks. Yeah. I can show you, but you make, I'll make you a cappuccino. Well, all right. Mmm, tastes great, Ben. Oh. Well, uh, I'll have to think about this. Look, I've got to go. Oh, I've got to wait another tables. Look, come back tomorrow and we'll have a chat. I can look smart. I'm good with people. I can be a good ura waiter, just like everyone else. I just need a little help or a break. I am my own person. I have my own thoughts, needs and dreams. I have rights. If only don't make a few, don't make a few, don't make a few, don't make a few. Ah, reasonable adjustments. We will explain what these mean later. Let's see how the Equal Opportunity Act can help Ben. Human rights for everyone. Disability isn't a handicap. Look there! Human rights for everyone. What does that all mean? Hmm. A lot of things happened in that job interview. Let's see how the Equal Opportunity Act can help you. Discrimination 
is when a person treats another person unfairly because of their features. It can also be when you are bullied, harassed or left out. The Eco Opportunity Act says it is against the law to discriminate against a person because of their disability, like what happened to Ben. But there are lots of other features that are protected, like age, being a man or a woman, being pregnant or breastfeeding, being a parent or carer, having sex that is okay with the law, race or culture, religious beliefs or activity, sexual orientation like being a gay or lesbian person, being a transgender person, physical features, being married or not, if a person asks questions about their rights or problems at work, if a person is a member of a trade union or not, political belief or activity. It is against the law to discriminate against a person because a friend or family member has any of these features. The Equal Opportunity Act also says that a person can't ask you for information and use the information to discriminate against you. So you're saying, so if I have any of these features, I am protected in Victoria from being treated unfairly. Yes, that is correct. But the discrimination must also happen in one of these places. Work, accommodation, education, goods or services like shops, local government places, selling land, sports, clubs. Did you get all that? Yeah. It's discrimination is against the law when you're treated unfairly because you got one of those features and happens one of those places you got it mm. when I went for a job interview at the restaurant today John said a few things that I'm not happy about everything that you told me discrimination is against the law when I'm treated unfairly when I'm going for the job because I have a disability. Correct. Ben, did you also know that in work, education and in shops and services that reasonable adjustments must be made for people with disabilities? Reasonable adjustments? Reasonable adjustments are things that help the person do the job that they do and access to shop, service or school. Reasonable means fair for everyone. An adjustment is when you change or fix something. Well, I can do a waiter job. This means I should let John know I need the safety rules provided in a different way, maybe in simple language or pictures. Mm. I also asked John, working five hours in the morning, one or two short breaks, because this will help me work better. I can do the job, I just need some adjustments made. Here, this is the copy of the Equal Opportunity Act. This is the copy in easy English.
Thanks. I'll read it when I get home. Meet Sally. Sally and Ben are housemates. Sally works at the local community garden. She is studying cooking at TAFE. She enjoys painting and visiting friends. Hey Sally, how was your day? Hmm, okay. Well, I was at TAFE today. Some guy in my class showed me some photos on his phone. But really rude. He also hugged me. I didn't even want him to. That's really bad. Why don't you make a complaint? If I make a complaint, maybe he'll give me a hard time. And who do I play to anyway? I don't think anyone will listen. First things first. Sounds like what happened to you was sexual harassment. The Equal Opportunity Act says that no one can do this to you. It also says that you can't be treated badly because you complained about it. This is called victimisation. So the man in your class can't make it hard for you to complain. It is against the law here. Today I learned about the Equal Opportunity Act, which protects you from discrimination. It also protects you from sexual harassment and victimisation. Let's have a look. Maybe you're right. I can make a complaint. I don't deserve to be treated in that way. I want to go to my cooking course and I want to enjoy it. Exactly. Actually, at my job interview today, a few things happened that might be discrimination. I have seen the Equal Opportunity Act. I think it can help me and you to get our rights. I will speak to John, the restaurant owner, tomorrow. If we can't agree, I know I can make a complaint. And you can too. Mmm, I guess you're right. Tell me how you go tomorrow. I want to keep reading this. Stay tuned for more information on how Sally or Ben could make a complaint if they want to. So the next day, Ben goes back to visit John at the restaurant. John has been thinking about how he can make changes for Ben because he knows Ben can do the job well. That cappuccino Ben made was great and he was very polite. Great for a waiter. John and Ben talk about this. John gives Ben a copy of the safety rules book. In simple language and pictures, they also talk about it. Ben will still understand the safety rules, but he won't have to read the big complicated book. John also agrees that Ben can work five hours starting in the morning and Ben can have two short breaks. Because of his disability, this will help Ben work better. These are the examples of making reasonable adjustments. Ben and John spoke about what things Ben will do at work. Just because Ben doesn't read doesn't mean that he should be stuck doing the dishes and paid less. John suggested making a picture board of the menu to help Ben take food orders. Ben can still do all things waiters do like taking orders, serving food and dealing with fussy customers. Ben is now a waiter and he enjoys serving the people and now every now and again trying the delicious specials on his lunch break. Ben has been working at Ooh La La for a few months. 
Sally and her friend Lucinda go to Ula La for lunch to see where Ben works. When they get to the restaurant, the only way in is up some steps. How will Lucinda and Sally have lunch now? They talk to John the boss about putting in a ramp to the restaurant. This is a reasonable adjustment because it'll help Lucinda access the goods and services in the restaurant. It also means that other people in wheelchairs can come to the restaurant, as well as parents with prams and older people who might find the steps difficult. It also means that the restaurant gets a good reputation. John agrees. And the next time Sally and Lucinda go in for lunch, there is a ramp at the door. Remember the situations of Ben, Sally and Lucinda are just some of the situations that are protected under the Equal Opportunity Act. If you think that discrimination, sexual harassment, victimisation has happened to you, there is a way to fix the problem. Let's have a think about that. What can you do if discrimination, sexual harassment or victimisation happens to you? You could talk to the person and try to work it out with them. You could talk to a friend or a family member. You could talk to your manager, boss or staff member. You can talk to your support person, carer or someone else that can help. You can talk to the commission and they can help you. Yes. You can make a complaint to the Victorian Equal Opportunity and Human Rights Commission. A complaint is when you tell somebody something that makes you unhappy and ask if they can try and fix it. You can make a complaint about discrimination, sexual harassment, victimisation. For example, Sally said that you might make a complaint about sexual harassment. Yes, I think I might. Remember, you can make a complaint about discrimination, victimisation and sexual harassment at the Commission. You can call them, send them an email or a letter, go to their website or go and see them. When you make a complaint, we can help you make a complaint in your language and help you write your complaint down. We can try to help you fix the problem. If the Commission can't help you, we will tell you why and we will tell you about someone else who can help you. Remember, making a complaint is free. It doesn't cost any money. We won't tell anyone about your personal information. And you can organise to bring an advocate or a friend to help you with your complaint. The Victorian Equal Opportunity and Human Rights Commission also have easy English information on how to make a complaint. Remember, we are here to help you. This video has been about the Equal Opportunity Act. Most of the examples have been about people with disabilities. But the Equal Opportunity Act is for everyone in Victoria. The Victorian Equal Opportunity and Human Rights Commission has lots of different ways they could help the community. These are the ways of finding out more information.